calculate the number of arrangements of a b c d e f 1 2 3 if the 1 2 3 are separated from each and other what do i mean by separated from each another i want to avoid scenarios like this okay we don't want the 1 2 3 be to be together or another situation could be you see the three and one is together all the one and the two and the three needs to be separated they can exist individually this is not allowed this is not allowed so what is allowed an example of allowable scenario is a one Yeah, this is accepted. As long as all the 1, 2 and 3 is separated, we are good. They cannot exist as 3 digit. They cannot exist as a pair of 2 digit. So the fastest way to solve this problem is by arranging the A, B, C, D, E, F first. Because the problem comes from the 1, 2, 3. So what we're going to do? We're going to do A, B, C, D, E, F. And then my logic says, hey, go and place the 1, 2, 3 somewhere in between them. Or preferably you can also put at the edge. <coughs> okay. So now let's go and juggle the A, B, C, D, E, F. Because of course I can uh, rearrange them the way I like. So that's going to give us 6 factorial. So if you want an example for 6 factorial, of course it is A, B, C, D, E, F, the easiest. And it can be A, C, D, E. F, B. You can begin with a B. And then it keeps going. You can even do F. And then A, B, C. Juggle. Juggle all the way out. Get all the possibilities that you, have, you are seeing. So what is 6 factorial? 6 factorial is equal to 720. If you were to list 1 by 1, you will get 720. Okay, so far so good. Now, let's go and place the 1, 2, 3. Where can you place the 1, 2, 3? One option is something like this. See, by doing that, what am I getting? I'm actually getting 1, A, 2, B, 3, C, D, E, F. Look at this. All my numbers are separated. This is allowed. If you're wondering what happens to all these spaces, nothing. It just, since you are placing nothing over there, the letters will get merged. Just simple like that. So now how many options do I have? How many options do I have for that? You can be asking, Miss, I already put 1, 2 and 3 here. Can I go and juggle them? Of course you can. So first you have to ask yourself how many space you have. You have 7 space to place the 1, 2, 3. Okay, you have 7 spaces. But are you going to use all the 7 spaces? You are not. You only need 3 space out of the 7. So what you will do? You will do 7 choose 3. You choose 3 space only. Why? Because you only have 1, 2 and 3. You don't have anything more than that. Out of the 7 space, you just choose 3 to put in your 1, 2, 3. And then what do you do? Scenario like this. Okay, let's say you are placing it in this way. Now what you have to do? You need to juggle, right? So times by 3 factorial. Let me show you what is this 3 factorial. If you put 1, 2, 3, then you're going to get... So that is the meaning of the 3 factorial. You are getting 6 here. If you are wondering what is the meaning of 7 choose 3, let's go and find what is 7 choose 3 first. You are getting 35, right? It means there are 35 ways where I can place my 1, 2, 3 in whichever order I like. How? Okay, this is the first one. I told you I have 35, right? Maybe the second one could be 1 here, 2 here, and then the 3 over here. Maybe the third option can be placing the 1 here on the empty spaces, of course, 2 here and then 3 here. So how many different ways you have? 35. Finally, when you do this, you will realize 
of course this can be written as 7 permutate 3 everything is going to give you 151,200 ways ways to arrange all the nine items I have and then what I'm going to do I am going to minus three digit being together and then I'm going to minus two digit being together let me give an example how a three digit together looks like something like this you have to avoid all these cases you don't want this scenario you need to throw then only you will be able to list all the cases where one two three are separated after throwing all the three digit being together you also need to throw two digit being together for an example ah, maybe we want to throw cases like this see two and three could be together this way right and then a one over here so you need to throw away all this kind of example let's begin with the thought process so this is quite simple since you have nine unique items a b c d e f six of it seven eight and nine so it's just nine factorial when we are doing three digit together the only three digit we have is one two three remember of course you are arranging in a row yeah row by row straight line like that so one two three together then i have six letters of course i can juggle them that is going to give me total of 7 factorial i want to juggle everything times by 3 factorial let's try to understand the meaning of 7 factorial over here it could be a b c and then 1 2 3 like that d e f one example the other one could be starting with let's say b and then the 1 2 3 together and then i have a d f e and c yeah so this is the meaning of 7 factorial if you were to list you will get 700 uh what is 7 factorial 5040 you can do 5040 listing if you were to do one by one and then what is the meaning of 3 factorial it's inside right inside the group you can still go and juggle what is the meaning of 3 factorial 3 factorial is exactly 6 so let's see 6 is easy to list this is the six for each case over here you will have six uh, different possibility so that's why we're doing 5040 times by six okay still i can understand looks good now comes the case where two digits are together so two digit together let's take an example let's say i'm starting with one and two if i'm starting with one and two i need to place six letter and one number this space over here you cannot put a three you cannot put the three if you put the three then you go back to the case of three digit being together so you have to be very careful now what else can happen maybe you leave a space the one two comes here or another scenario you can put the one and two here until there are so many different cases right i try to make sure you see it and then the one and two goes over here now for the first scenario here since you know you cannot put the three here the three can play around one two three four five six so the three can be placed anywhere here so six options for that and I have still A, B, C, D, E, F, right? I can put that anywhere I like. Okay, let's say I'm placing the 3 over here. Coins, I put it here. Just say one of the option. Then all the remaining spaces here will be for the A, B, C, D, E, F. Of course, I can juggle it times by 6 factorial. And... The similar case will happen to the last item you know you cannot place the three here 
and let's say you are placing the three over here how many options you have to place the three of course six right you remember that but you know that you can put your a b c d e f over here and when you put the a b c d e f of course you can juggle so six factorial for the a b c d e f times by six for the three you can put the three anywhere you like in this particular spaces okay so far good now let's go to the middle cases in the middle cases over here for an example i'm taking this you know that you cannot put the three anywhere here so in how many places can you put the three one two three four five correct let's say i am putting the three here say i am putting the three here where can i park my a b c d e f i can park it anywhere i like maybe like this and i will juggle after that right so it's just times by six factorial and how many cases do i have for that how many cases do i have can you think let's check so this is for one two two three four five six seven eight this is the eighth case where you have the one and two at the back this is the first case where you have one and two in the beginning so how many do i have where the one and two can be in the middle six so take this and multiply with six so for one scenario how much will i get let's try it's simply two times six times six factorial plus five times six times six factorial together you're going to get thirty thousand two hundred and forty now ask yourself in this example when we did we only did for one and two am i correct we only did for one and two but how many two digit pairing can i actually get i can do one two one three two one two three three one and three two there are total six so take this answer and times by six that is going to give you for two digit scenario 181 440 okay let's check we are almost there i know that i have to take the 9 factorial and minus all my cases so the final answer is 9 factorial minus 7 factorial 3 factorial minus 181 440 let's see what we get It's one five one two hundred. Now I'm going to illustrate this to you using an Excel. Like what is that exactly one hundred eighty one four hundred and forty? Where is this one hundred fifty one and two hundred uh, number of ways where the one two three will be separated? Okay. Okay, as you see here, I use the Excel to show it to you what is happening. As you see, the first one, the 1, 2, 3 is separated. Can you see all the numbers are being separated there? So let me scroll to show you. Uh, even in this case, the 1, 2 and 3 is still being separated. These are the cases that we actually won. Okay, I'm going to show you everything. Now see, the separated number is 151 and 200,000. Uh, in, if you look at the blue ones you can see the 32 the 23 they are all being together and some sometimes it is in the middle sometimes it's at the edge right so this is where the two digits are being together these are the cases where we have removed for the two digit yes you see here the 32 it comes in front so how many are there in total if you look at the right hand side corner down there the count shows 181 and 440 see the excel makes sense these are the cases for the three digit number being together 
where is the positioning of the tree it can be in the middle at the back anywhere so how many are there for the yellow do you remember what we did earlier it was 3 factorial times by 7 factorial so the yellow case is where all the three digits are together and let's see right hand side corner how much do you see 30,000